Hey everyone, it's Kelly from The Glamorous Blonde and I am doing a tutorial on how to tease your hair. So I think teasing hair is so fun. Some people really hate on it, but if you have thin hair and you want some more volume, teasing your hair is the way to go. Um, I have been teasing people's hair for like four or five years now. I love doing it. Um, I was on Baylor's Palm Squad and then I was also an NBA dancer for a season. So having big voluptuous hair is definitely right up my alley and I've learned a lot of tips and tricks along the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I tease my hair, just continue watching. Okay, so step one when you are teasing your hair, get all your products. So I always use this texturizing spray. It's um, not your mother. It's pretty good. Um, and I only use this if I have no product in my hair. So right now I have hairspray for my curls, but I didn't put any mousse or anything up top. So I really need this just to give my hair some hold. And then I also have my favorite hairspray. It's drugstore Tresemme. It's really easy to get. It's like $5 and it lasts a long time. And it's great for this Texas humidity. So I love this stuff. I also have my wet brush that I use. Um, Whenever I brush my hair, I don't use anything else. This one's great for taming a tease and brushing out the bottom. And then for the tease itself, the most important tool, I have this teasing comb. So, sorry, there's hair on it. <laughs> so I used to use a different teasing comb and then I discovered this one and it has made my tease last so much longer and it just looks a lot better. So um, go to Sally's or Target and get one that has bristles like this. It is absolutely amazing, good quality, and it really makes your hair hold on to a tease really, really nicely. What I'm first gonna do is I'm going to start with my top layer, and I'm just gonna grab about this much hair. So it's a very thin layer, and I always start from about right here, like the crown of your head, and I go back this way just so I can get volume going this way. And I always start at the back and not the side. So I'm gonna have this amount of hair. I'm going to brush it up just to make sure everything is nice and tame. And then from about midway point, I'm going to go down and really pack it in right there. One more time. And three. Okay, so that's a pretty good tease right there. And if you feel that you have some good back combing, but just to make it a little bit more of a lift, I'm going to then do a couple little guys right there, okay? Now it's nice and solid, but if you can see the top layer still looks flat and not like a rat's nest. So I'm gonna get my hairspray and I'm just gonna spray a little bit right there, let it cool off right there. So I'm letting it dry, which means the hairspray is not going to be wet or tacky and then I'm gonna let it hang out, okay? So a good tease is gonna leave your hair having some volume and it's not gonna lay flat. Then I'm going to keep building. So I'm gonna get the same amount of hair, that same layer right there, divide it, brush it up, and one, two, three, and a little bit extra security, and it looks like this. Get my hairspray, spray it, let it hang out. And I'm gonna let it dry, just like that. I'm gonna keep doing that. So. Okay, so I'm done the back, and if you can see, I stopped right around like, I don't know, it's gonna be like two inches of tease that I have. And that's gonna provide a really nice layer back here that looks nice and bouncy. I've sprayed it all, it feels really good, it's voluminous. Now, I'm going to let that just hang out like this. And I'm not gonna worry about brushing it at all. I'm just gonna spray it again for excess security and let it hang out like that. Okay, now for the sides. The sides are probably the hardest part because it can kind of go out this way and you look like Hey Arnold or football head. Not really cute. So um, I always like to start with the, the, the section of hair closest to the back. So where I just teased all that in like a mohawk, I'm going to grab some hair right there, divide it again, same thinness just to really build. I'm gonna do the one, two, three, and then excess security right there. You really wanna pack your tees in closer to the root so it has some volume right there, but not volume out here. So you wanna pack that in, like so. I'm gonna keep doing this 
all throughout here. A little tip I have when it comes to the sides, I never tease it this way towards my face. I always have the hair back at an angle. That way, when I tease it, it's gonna lay how your hair naturally wants to lay and lay back and not forward. It's gonna lay back this way. It looks a lot more natural and photographs really well. And if you're a dancer, your hair is naturally wanna go away from your face so you're not dancing and it's in your face. So there's that perfect little tease and leave it like that just kidding the bangs these can be kind of tricky too I don't like to have them as perfectly teased so it looks more natural so I'm gonna have a thicker section of hair and that same thing again teasing at a back diagonal that's how I want my hair to lay and tease and spray and again, see how it's going back this way? That's what I want it to do. So for the bangs right here, I wanna just do a little bit and not pack it in too much because then it doesn't look very natural and it gets awkward. <laughs> Gosh. So for the sides that frame your face, um, this could be kind of tricky too. A lot of people forget to do that part and so it's like big volume hair here and then it's flat, awkward. It looks like you have separated hair, like you have volume then straight. So if you ever find yourself trying to tease your hair and it does that, this is a great fix for you. So I grab the pieces that kind of frame my face and I'm going to pull them back at an angle again because I want it to go back this way and I'm just going to lightly tease my whole hair. That way it's gonna give me some volume at the end, but it's also gonna help blend that tease into my curls. So I have it like this. So you can see that there's some more volume there, but it's not a rat's nest right at that root right there. And I'm just gonna lightly spray it like that and let it hang out, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I have the pieces that kind of frame my face like this, and I'm going to back comb really lightly just to give it some volume right there. Boom and spray. Okay, now it's time to brush out your tees so it looks good. You don't want to leave the house like this. So I'm going to go in with that same teasing brush and I'm going to start the back because I started that way too. So with this teasing brush, it really teases well. So you might be like, wow, my hair is so big and crazy, but you can always tame it down. It's hard to tease it and then have to re-tease it to get it bigger because you're working against that tease you already made and all the hairspray. So I always say, start bigger, tame it down instead of having to redo it. So I'm just gonna lightly brush all of my hair and you don't wanna have the tease showing. I see a lot of people tease their hair and you can tell there's like a rat's nest back there and it just does not look natural. And even if you're like a dancer, which I'm sure a lot of y'all are, you don't want to give away your secrets. You don't want people to be like, oh, that girl has extensions. Oh, that girl has fake eyelashes. Oh, that girl has the tease hair. You want to look naturally pretty. <laughs> you make a cameo in my, my video. He looks naturally pretty. <laughs> So once you're done brushing it all out, you might find some pieces that kind of stick out weird or you know, one tease fell, one didn't. So I always like to go through that top layer and just kind of add some more volume now that I have it um, laying how I want it to lay. So I'm gonna go and brush it. There's still a little bit of tease and I'm just gonna tease very, very lightly, but pack it in right there. The top layer, you don't wanna have it um, really fiercely teased because then it's not going to lay well and especially if you're a dancer and you're flipping your hair a lot it's going to have awkward pockets that you don't want. So spray that and brush it out and just create a little bit more volume at the top of my head. To make my bangs lay really really nicely I'm going to take those bangs or the pieces that kind of frame your face and back comb them again at that little angle and just create some volume back here.
Lastly, to finish off the look, I'm gonna spray it and fix the bottom. So sometimes when you have a lot of hairspray, your curls can look kind of curly and awkward and crispy. So I always brush through my hair, brush that top tease just so that it all flows and looks nice and soft and the back is soft. I'm gonna, of course, spray it again just for a finishing touch. And there you go. Perfectly teased hair. It will last you forever, especially if you use this brush. It looks natural, but it's more voluptuous and great for date night, for games, for life, whatever you need it for. And that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys really liked it. Again, it's super easy. Not a lot of products or time involved. It just takes practice and patience. So if you try it and you're just like, oh, I can't do it, you need to practice on your hair and just see how it goes. Um, again, follow these tips. It works really well for me and I hope it works for you too. If you guys want to continue seeing videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment or whatever people tell you guys to do. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. And of course, follow me on Instagram at the glamorous blonde underscore. That's where you'll see everything that I post. Follow my blog, all that good stuff. I don't want to sound too spammy. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.